acting straight. You tell me I don't gotta go to the salon and wait five hours to get my hair done. So I don't have to set aside like 40 minutes to curl my human hair wig. You telling me this, <laughs> we could do this with synthetic hair. Ah! <laughs> Hi, my name is Gladys and I'm here to put y'all on. I'm here to showcase two wigs from Sensational's new line. Two other units with kinky edges from the Curls, Kinks & Co line. I remember when this line first dropped years ago and me and all the other wig bays, we were totally on it because it was just nice to have more wigs with a natural texture. Back then the hair was a little rough, but this? And the fact that it's a 13 by six frontal and it has kinky edges. Girl, this is the wig that I'm wearing right now. Do y'all see some of the edges? I've worn this wig like four times already. That's why you're not gonna see me applying this on camera. And as you can see, she's gorgeous. <laughs> talking about this wig non-stop on Instagram so I'm sorry it took me so long to come to YouTube but I'm here honey I'm here I, I love this the texture the style the curls are everything I will say though that these curls love them throughout the pack my best advice is to not brush through them because something about them brushed out to me doesn't hit the same as when they first come out the pack this is an Instagram reel that I did and I literally just plopped the wig on my head and showed it to my girls out the pack and I just love those curls. I kind of want them back. But this style looks gorgeous too. I just noticed now that I've worn it like four times, it took a little bit more finessing to get the curls to look like this again. And when I say finessing, all I was really doing was taking each curl and just brushing it out, just reforming the shape of the curl. But guess what? I also have this wig right here, the short version, and that is what I'm going to show you from start to finish how I apply that wig. And I am gonna talk through the tutorial because you all say that you like those. So hopefully this video is very helpful to you. Make sure you drop some comments for me. Make sure you check out the description box because everything will be linked there, the hair, my makeup, and also this bodysuit that I'm really loving from Amazon. Also, another thing that I did differently with this unit, Body Wave 18, I added like a little bit of a fake scalp up here I don't know if you can see it and I've talked about this method on my channel before two years ago I created this video seven easy wig hacks part one and part two in this video I show you exactly how I create this fake scalp paste to help hide the grids and a lot of y'all really appreciated that video so I did it with this wig just because I just wanted to see if I got better at it I just wanted it to look a little bit more like scalp and I like the way it came out I think it looks pretty good and I'm going to continue practicing the fake scalp method in 2024 with other wigs. Another thing about this wig right here, I love the way it looks styled half up, half down. You see this here? <laughs> All right, y'all, let's get into this Body Wave 14 unit. This was the wig that I posted on TikTok and people went really crazy over it because of just how it looks like straight on. Like, I'm gonna show y'all right now. It does come with your two combs here in the front and a comb in the back with adjustable straps. And also key feature here is the adjustable band here that will help fit, you know, pretty much any head size. Now, of course, we are here for these edges, honey. And do you see the edges? Do you see? Oh my God, they look so freaking natural. Let me show y'all. <laughs> Sensational, come here. in the 1B color. I'm loving the off black. Oh, look at these curls. Curls for the girl. This looks so freaking natural, y'all. I haven't even cut any lace. And look, I tried this on initially with no makeup. It was still a sleigh. You see, and I'm just kind of like, I could flip it around here. You know, you could wear it in the middle. You have 13 by six parting space. So you got options, honey. Like, look at, oh. <laughs> this is so darling. I'm loving it. Imagine, imagine a little half up, half down situation. <laughs> Do y'all see the vision? All right, let's get into this. Now straight off the pack, I would say this is fitting me comfortably, but like it's not fitting loose on my head. I would say it's fitting just right. And I have a medium sized head, which is a 22.3 circumference. So if you are larger, like 23 and up, it might feel a little bit more snug to you. However, when you receive a wig that is big, I have seen my girl XOXO Shiba, she has a video where she cut the side of her wigs in order to help expand the cap. That has helped her a lot with wigs that are too small for her. So I'll link her video in case you wanna check that out. What I love about this wig so far, besides the texture and the style, I'm just really loving these edges. I think they look so 
so seamless. I'm really here for these companies who make synthetic wigs. I'm really here for them mimicking human hair qualities for a, a super affordable price. Because when the kinky edges trend was big last year, I know there are a lot of people who felt like they couldn't afford to partake. I like that these wigs makes the kinky edge trend more accessible to a lot of people. All right, so the first thing we're doing here is we're gonna cut the lace. I do not like cutting lace on my head, y'all. Fun fact, I don't like it. I will say though, when you are cutting this lace, make sure you're cutting in a jagged motion because if you just cut the lace straight across, it's not gonna lay as seamlessly as if you cut jaggedly along the lace. And there are lots of videos of people showing you how to do this. Make sure you check that out if you're confused. All right, so next I'm gonna tint the lace. I'm going to use my tint spray to tint the lace, but that's not all. I'm using the tint spray because I wanna cover this whole surface area here, but then later I am gonna go in with my foundation to further blend around my perimeter. And this tint spray is by Eben. You can find it anywhere, but of course it's in my Amazon store. All my wig essential items are linked in my description box. So make sure y'all check that out. You know, I've been seeing y'all supporting my Amazon store, by the way. And it really warms my heart. Y'all know that um, I'm an Amazon influencer, so I do earn commission when you shop through my links. It seriously helps your girl out on a monthly basis. So when you're shopping on Amazon, consider going through my store, you feel me? All right. I'm using the color dark brown. I actually prefer the color darkest brown, but I can't find it right now. This is what the lace looks like once it's tinted. As you can see, it's a very stark difference from what we had before. Now we're going to lay the wig. I just wanna clarify something because I know I was confused myself once I started wearing like lace fronts again and frontals. I have melting spray and I have adhesive spray. I'm gonna explain the difference. And shout outs to the YouTube channel, The Wig Investigator, I believe. She has awesome videos breaking down different products that we use for our wigs. She goes into the ingredients and why some of them are better than others. She tests multiple products at the same time. I love her channel. I feel like she's on a break right now and I really hope she comes back at some point because she gives great information. I'll link it. But she helped me understand the difference because I'm like, yo, what is this? This type of spray from Eben, Wonder Lace Bond Adhesive Spray. This is the spray you use when you are trying to adhere the wig onto your head so that it will stay, last all day, even a few days, depending, right? This is melting spray. The sole function of this melting spray, y'all, is to melt the lace. It's to blend the lace so that it matches your skin. That is the sole function of this spray. However, some people do use this as an adhesive, but it is not going to have the same level of hold as this adhesive spray. So, you know how they say a square is a type of rectangle, but a rectangle is not a square? Same thing here. A melting spray can be used as an adhesive, but an adhesive is not a melting spray. <laughs> Hope this makes sense don't butcher me in the comments okay i'm gonna use both of them today i'm gonna start with this just apply heat and then i'm gonna use this melting spray with my melting band this is the band i'm using it looks like a bra strap i i got this from like i don't know where i got this from but if i have it on amazon i'll find it but i like using this to melt the lace if i clear things up for you let me know in the comments all right so i'm just spraying a bit on here Woo. It's looking a little messy. Y'all, I feel so rusty right now, so please forgive me if it feels like I'm fumbling over here. I'm gonna get a little up close and personal with y'all. I'm about to go on my blow dryer, but I just wanna let you know, you see, even though the lace is tinted, this is not dark enough for my complexion, which is why I opt for the shade darkest brown and not just regular dark brown when I'm using even tint spray. But don't worry, we gonna fix that with my foundation. All right, so now the wig is adhered and now I'm gonna go on this lace melt spray. And this is what's going to help melt the lace, especially when I put the band on. I'm just gonna squirt around the hairline. Sometimes the application can be a little messy. See, it's like running down my face, but that's, that's what we have going on here. And so I'm gonna clip my hair up with my little claw clip. Ooh, 
Who child? These these sides did not get adhered, honey. <laughs> That's okay. And I'm literally just going to apply the band around the perimeter of my head. So right now the lace is being melted into my head. And I could, you know, do whatever at this point. I'm trying to think styling wise what I want to do. Like this, of course, is very pretty, but you know I want to do a half up, half down. <laughs> this is so cute. This is so cute. <laughs> if this video is helpful, please let me know in the comments, especially because it's been a minute since I've done a frontal tutorial. Y'all know that I have been taking a lot of breaks. I don't feel as confident these days with doing the frontals as I once did. But you know, you never forget how to ride a bike. So, same with wigs. <laughs> so I'm back, it's been about 30 minutes. Let's see what it's looking like thus far. I still wanna go in with my foundation too. But this is what it's looking like. Ooh. Okay. So, this is not blended yet. That's why we're gonna go in with the foundation. This is a foundation that I've been using for a few years in the shade D90 Espresso. I'm just gonna go along the perimeter to help this blend out. Normally when I do this, this is when the lace starts to disappear. You see that? This is like my favorite part. <laughs> oh man. So look at me, look at the difference with my foundation, without my foundation. I'm telling you. <laughs> I remember watching a video on TikTok where a girl was like, oh, why are you still using foundation? She wasn't asking me, she was just, oops. She was just saying that in the caption, but you know, you gotta do what works best for you. I feel like foundation, applying it still works for me. I like using the foundation because I feel like it penetrates the lace pretty well. I like that. Now, one thing I will say, because I've been wearing headband wigs so much, I've been over frontals, but when this line came out, I had to try it. Like, look at that. Do y'all see how natural that looks with those hairs? And mind you, I showed you all one of these wigs already, the Kinky Straight one, Kinky Straight 24. The kinky edges on that one were, were like not matching the kinky straight texture at all. So I chose to relax them a little bit with my hot comb. But with these edges, I don't feel the need to apply any heat whatsoever. I guess with this line, all edges are not created equally. I don't know, we'll see. They have more wigs dropping, y'all. I saw this beautiful 20 inch one that they're coming out with. I can't wait to try that. And they have another short one, Body Wave 20. 12, this is 14, so I'm hype for those styles. But yes, this is what we got going on. All right, y'all, I'm just snipping a little bit because you know, sometimes I gotta go in with the scissors and it was hanging down a little bit lower than I wanted. Y'all, this is so freaking pretty. I, I'm, I'm in love with this. The body, the curls, the style is amazing. Mm. I need to go out. I think I need to be outside when I wear this wig. I mean, I like this bodysuit that I'm wearing. I think it looks good and the girls look good, but I would love to have like a nice leather tube dress. Oh, with a little smoky eye. <laughs> I would love this. What I'm not loving right now is the fact that this lace is looking a little visible over here. I don't know if it's me being rusty, y'all, or if it's the lighting, I don't know. But we all ignore that for right now. Overall, these edges are definitely the star of the show. I didn't lay this all the way from ear to ear just because I haven't been in like an ear to ear mood whatsoever. Now, I also got this wig in a gray color. Oh my goodness, I got this in the shade M44. This is a beautiful, like, look at this gray, y'all. Beautiful shade of gray, but it's like not just one shade of gray. It's like, I see four different shades here, like a silver, light gray, dark gray, and I see black strands as well, all mixed in. 
that's one thing about Outre, you can always count on them to go in with the colors. So if you like gray hair or have gray hair, you might wanna try this out because just imagine this on me. Ideally, I was supposed to put this on first just to try it on, but I got caught up in this one. So I'm at least just show you the color. And of course, same specs. And even the edges are gray. This is so freaking, this is a game changer wig, especially if you are a silver haired baddie. Okay, so now I'm gonna try a little half up, half down situation, okay? Bear with me. I'm gonna just, I'm looking at my mirror over here. Just grabbing one little curl at a time, okay? And I'm just going to sweep it up into an updo. You know, that's like one of my favorite styles to do when I wear me a little wig like this. Oh Lord, I didn't lay the edges down, but it's, it's all right, just stick with me. All right, let me see. Maybe I should leave a little bit more hair down. are coming up y'all because I didn't secure them but again do you see what we have going on here this is so fly ah! <laughs> I'm totally in love I think I need to wear this out tonight seriously what do y'all think let me know in the comments I just I'm just totally obsessed with these curls like I can't I can't get enough of the bouncy curls Ooh, some of these curls though are a little unruly so I would go in with my little brush here and just try to conform them to the way I want them to look. You know what I'm saying? Yes, this this is it. <laughs> Even if you didn't want to like glue this down, you could always fill this in with like a dark brown liner or a black liner to fill it in. Like I've done that plenty of times before on both sides if you're not trying to adhere it. But yes, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. Are we here for these wigs with the kinky edges? I am definitely here for it. I think Sensational did an outstanding job coming out with this line and making this type of style available for more people. When it comes to the pros, of course I love the edges. I love the curls. I love the volume. I think the cap size is comfortable. Not too sure how it's gonna be on larger heads, but I think you can make it work. However, I do have one con. Y'all see on the back of this stock card, all these colors, right? I have never been a fan. Oh, also another pro is that there are great colors available in this wig. I think that's a big pro. But another con are the color options. How is one thing both a pro and a con? Let me explain. Balayage color blends, I've never been a huge fan of them ever. I've just never been a fan. I noticed the chocolate one on, um, oh my God, I saw it on another YouTuber in the Body Wave 18 style and the color looked very pretty, but it to me it just looked like one color, like it looked like a 1B root and a chocolate color. It didn't really look like it was mixed with colors, maybe it was a video, I don't know. I just feel like Outre definitely has the color game on lock when it comes to these synthetic wigs and I just, I wanna see more color blends with this line. Look, I know they're making progress. The fact that they even came out with a frontal wig with kinky edges is a big deal, especially for the Curls Kinks and Co line. But you know, I want some more colors. Like I would love to have this in a ginger, like through and through ginger color. It doesn't even have to have a dark root. Like I would love that. What? And this will have a half down. Honey, I'm getting hot just thinking about it. <laughs> I think I need to get back to practicing my frontal skills because, or maybe it's the fact that I'm not used to using the melte, melting spray because this is like my second time using it. And I liked it the first time, but I don't want the halo to show. Like usually if you look up, the fact that I can still see the halo there, I don't like that. So that means I need to do something different next time. I know sometimes it's different when you're in um, studio lights, but I'm in front of a, a I'm in daylight. I'll work on that for next time. But overall, I appreciate y'all watching Premiere Party. Thank you for being here. Thank you overall for your patience with me and my video content. I've been uploading very consistently on TikTok and Instagram. Just YouTube long form. I'm still slowly getting back to that. Uh, but I've been posting YouTube shorts every day. So definitely check out my shorts. I've recommitted myself to my newsletter. So please, please join my email list so you can get 
bi-weekly newsletters from me and normally it's just me saying something that's on my heart i also do a monthly newsletter updating people on what's going on with my channel amazon finds travel deals stuff like that yeah but i'm looking in this viewfinder and i really like what i see i, I just love the makeup and this hair it's, it came together really nicely so yes let me know your thoughts in the comments Oh, also, I'm hosting a group trip, y'all. I'm planning a group trip to celebrate my five-year anniversary, and I've partnered with Trova Trip. I should have said that at the beginning of the video. But yes, please fill out my survey. That'll be linked in the description box. So that way you can help me plan, and we can get this on the road so I can actually announce where we will be going so y'all can possibly join me on this group trip. I have a lot of survey responses. Top places are Bali, Belize, and Costa Rica, and Greece. So if you want your input to count, please do the survey for me. And of course, check out some more of my hair content over here to the right of me. Thank y'all so much for watching and for rocking with me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.